What is going on, everybody? I want to give you an update on what is going on with this Ben Armstrong BitBoy Crypto Hit Networks lawsuit. And I want to give you a, a more unique perspective, and I want to go through it very, very quickly here to kind of show you that things sometimes are what they seem, and, seeing, and, and sometimes things are not what they seem. So there's a litany of issues. First of all, we have what people said was infidelity by Ben Armstrong. And the accusation came from the person, TJ Shedd, who allegedly started an illicit affair with his assistant. This means that there is some sort of, and should be recorded, uh, history of some sort of interaction between these two people as he is having an illicit extramarital affair with his assistant, which leads to her getting a divorce and then them getting married. Now, I don't know if that's the way the business is just done in the TJ Shedd household. I don't know. Uh, it's not a testament to, to anything other than, you know, what his moral fiber and moral values are. But we can see that that's not the issue. That's not why they want to steal the company from Ben Armstrong. That's not what they're concerned about. That's just the allegation that they made because the person who's the head of content, Nick DeMondi, isn't very good at framing his argument because the next argument was that, well, you know, he's on drugs and that's very, very dangerous. So he takes a drug test, comes through squeaky clean. He then later says, well, I'm also taking uh, diet pills because I don't want to be a fat guy. And I'm also taking steroids, Dianabol, to be specific, because um, I, I want to build muscle while I'm in the gym. And true story, uh, TJ gets them from me as well. So not only do we have um, uh, an illicit affair and drug abuse, but the accusation is coming from the guy having an illicit affair abusing drugs. That's not the issue. That's not the reason. This is about money. Now, let's find out what kind of hypocrites these guys really are because one of the arguments, and I'm going to point this out. I'm going to show you guys this little image here, and I want you guys to see uh, the dignity, self-respect, call it what you will. This is the level of care that everybody has. TJ Shedd, serious face. The rest of the people, we've already talked about the hostage crisis video. We've jokingly laughed about the fact that nobody here is smiling. Nobody here is laughing. Well, almost nobody. There's one person back here uh laughing and that person again is nick demondi so during the fall of some people over things that are strikingly uh hurting people hurting people uh nick demondi just finds it hilarious he just finds it so funny but let's not stop there let's move on and let's leave nick alone right now because you know uh but here we go this comes down to what is the quote unquote meat and potatoes. Uh, as far as I know, BitBoy Crypto is suing Ben Armstrong for using a company owned Board Ape Yacht Club to get a $170,000 loan and also diverting $50,000 a month to his girlfriend's company. They also allege groping and throwing protein shakes at employees. Anyway, so they're saying that uh, $50,000 a month is being diverted to his girlfriend's company and uh, a Board Ape Yacht Club. Uh, was being borrowed against, but it was company owned. Well, here we have the email from TJ Shedd. I just talked more with Ben and we can do 5% on the stake deal. Assuming that works out, we are anticipating we shouldn't need further sponsors for the YouTube channel. If it goes in a different direction, we can still do 5% for future sponsors on YouTube and I'll update the service agreement accordingly. Here is TJ Shedd agreeing to paying 5% per month. By the way, the deal, a million dollars per month month a million dollars per month how much is that oh that's fifty thousand dollars per month uh, or as the duchess of defi would put it the receipt showing that what they're doing is they're lying to you who are they lying to they're lying to you the american people who should know better than to believe people who are doing stuff like this oh and by the way in case you didn't know because we I really haven't brought it out, but I'm going to bring it out now. I'm going to show it to you right now. If you're interested in this, this is a transaction. This is one of the hit network wallet, which of course would need approval because it says right here that this is a company owned and that he would have to have some kind of approval in order to make any one of these moves. And since BitBoy 
uh, since TJ, since Bethany are three-way owners, I would assume that all three of them would need to have proof or they would need to know exactly what is going on. They would need to approve it in some way. There has to be an approval process, right? Uh, before anybody can do anything. So why, why is there a transaction from the hit network selling 57 ETH? That's right. I said it 57 ETH worth of Ben token the day after BitBoys let go. Why would that happen? That's them effectively stealing from the hit network's wallet without approval of the majority holder and doing it to try to wreck and damage his project. Now, think what you will about it, but he is still majority owner uh, along, well, I should say he's an equal share owner along with his wife. Did she approve the sale? Did he approve the sale? Because that's 67% of the company right there. Now, if they didn't do that, then is that not theft? Is that not the hit networks stealing? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, the 5% per month being sent to Cassandra Wolf, there's a contract for it. Um, that's not giving somebody, that's, that's a contract that was agreed upon in February, I might add. And then a step further, um, the accusation of a loan against a board, a yacht club, um, NFT, um, yet the uh, hit networks stole. And let me put this back up on the screen so you guys can see the number. It's very specific. $94,580 without the approval of the two of two of the three uh, majority holders in the organization. Um, how is that not theft? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are these guys thieves? Are they stealing? You let me know. This is not financial advice. My name is Believes. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we'll talk to you again.